Hello, 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 pretty girls. Do you look so smart? Eh? And I thought I would put it on the children's table. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> we all together. We'll just keep it as a backup. I've still got that other bottle. Okay. Okay. So what year is that? That looks quite old. 14. Is it? Yeah. 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 I never thought I'd ever wear socks that long. When you're 80, you can start. <laughs> 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 Dad, um, when I think of you, some very clear adjectives come to mind. Sure. The first one being handyman. But that word doesn't do you justice. You're far more highly skilled than handyman. You can repair anything, and for some reason, if it's not repairable, you just remake the broken piece and usually to a higher standard than the original item. In the last few years, you've made me a coffee, coffee temper as I threw mine away in a crazy spring cleaning exercise. You glued the number two back onto my beloved wristwatch when it fell off the face. You repaired my hair straightener that blew up, fixed the leg on my, the, on my dressing table stool just to name a few items. You also are an adventurer. Mom's Facebook tribute was a brilliant example of all the things you've tried. A normal day at the beach cottage goes something like this. You will dive for crayfish, pick mussels, snorkel with Brayden, surf with your sons and grandsons, and swim out to back line before lunch, fitting in a few repair and maintenance jobs in between. I think I see where Nathan gets his energy from. <laughs> you really do suck the marrow out of life. You're never down or morbid, but you embrace each day, and I find that inspiring. Thanks to you, we've had farms, fishing cottages, and a beach cottage and all the fun and experiences that go with it. You're also a curious explorer. Some of my favorite times is walking through the goss bush with you when you don't escape it from camp early morning trying to do deep You always discover some sort of treasure from a python up a tree or in a hole to a dung beetle ball. A walk or drive in the bush with you is never dull and quite often hair raising, but always fun. No wonder the boys have always wanted to be on the A team. A perfect example was when you taught Trent to drive. You put him in the driver's seat, put the vehicle in low range and got out. While Trent was driving, poor Nathan was in the back with me and went from hysterical laughter at Trent's jerky driving to, to screams of terror at the realisation that Trent was manning the vehicle alone while you just strolled next to it. You're also a scholar. You're an avid reader with a private library that is very impressive. You're also a meticulous record keeper with every book logged under title, author, publisher, or category. The only thing missing is a librarian. Whenever I'm looking for information on something, you generally my first port of call. From looking for a copy of Pilgrim's Progress or information on Wallace Simpson, you never fail to deliver. I think you had two or three different books on her. You're a mentor. I could not have asked for a better mentor in business. Over the past 28 years, you've taught me so much and have been so patient and kind. Your door is always open and you are willing to chat around, explain or discuss anything. You never had any area we were told to keep our hands off, which is huge when you built the business with your own sweat and tears. Not blood, sorry, not tears. Maybe some tears. <laughs> you treated us as partners, not employees or children. Father, you have been an excellent provider and protector but always gave us plenty of freedom too. Thank you for everything you've done for us, including loving our spouses and accepting them as part of the family. Happy 80th day. Thanks, Kate. Thank 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 Cheers. Thanks, Can you have a sip here? I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> you've certainly done way more than just reaching it. It's quite outstanding that at the stage of life, the amount of energy and zest for life that you still have, really is astounding. You truly have been blessed with great health. I laughed the other day because after afternoon of my dad's 80th birthday, he started sipping champagne at about 3.30 in the afternoon and 
and it was followed by like a few more drinks and then you went out for dinner for, to continue the celebration. So naturally you would expect like the next morning he would probably have a slow start and that's what you would expect. Anyway, to no surprise, I received a message from my dad at about 6.30 saying um, that no, Gareth, no need to rush to work. Um, I'm here and there's load shedding. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, never fails to amaze us. <laughs> um, as we all know, one of my dad's key life principles is just living life each day to the full. And dad, you certainly have modeled this 100%, both in, in work and in play. You've had a massive impact on our lives. The people here tonight are your closest friends and family, but we really just represent the tip of the iceberg. Your impact on people stretches far beyond just the small group. Uh, I just want to honor you for, the, for your effort and countless lives that you have touched and it had a positive impact on over your many years. I now speak for everyone here and just want to thank you so much for your, your care, your kindness, your generosity and the love that you show to all of us. We are very grateful to God that He has placed you in our lives and we pray for many years of, of life and good health for you. Thanks for being an incredible husband to mom, a sister to da, a father, father-in-law and grandfather and a friend. We all love you very much. Cheers. Yes. 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 When I wrote this, I'm going to have to read it, but when I wrote it, I was crying just because of how much I love you. Not all the sadness and a lot of the things I say is a little bit silly and fun, but just how important you are to me. And I can feel it coming back again. <laughs> <laughs> that you are so important to me. So I'm going to try to go through it. 80. I can't believe you made it this far. <laughs> Big wave surfing, dangerous game hunting, car racing, hang gliding, sorry, um, hang gliding, precarious tree and ladder climbing, and general tomfoolery. You've certainly rolled the dice with life, always walking away a winner. I love having you as my father, not only in the natural love of and have not only are the natural love a son has for their father, but way beyond that. This love was expanded by the experiences we have shared. Sorry, guys. It's a good one. Good one. <laughs> this love was expanded by the experiences we have shared. You often would deliberately take time to include me, even when it wasn't necessary or ideal. Taking me with you to Eston when I was just a toddler, spending hours with me in the workshop, allowing me to help you, Paint engine blocks on one of your car rebuilds, always making me feel like I was really contributing. Teaching me woodwork. I remember while skiing in, in Austria, you um, you showing us how to build little rockets out of matchsticks and then shooting them off a bridge. A silly little example, but it made an impact. Those moments were so special. Every single time I've had the privilege of being with you in the bush. From early days when I remember you engaging the hand throttle on your highlights, similar to Trent in that story, and then jumping out and joining us on the back, then carrying on a, the car carrying on across the field with no one inside. <laughs> like, what a special <laughs> moment for a little boy. <laughs> to early adulthood, getting to spend an afternoon together in Stainsburg in the felt. Just the two of us. You sacrificially walking off to push the spring back onto me, followed by some fun confusion, and two springbuck being shot instead of one. <laughs> then uh, more recently, um, standing in the station next to you in, um, at, um, at Grasslands on that morning geese shoot, goose shoot in the Free State. What a treat getting to experience and share that moment together. Whenever I get to share a campfire with you and listen to one of your stories, it is always, always a privilege. As I was thinking about some of our shared moments, I came to the realization that you've actually rolled the dice with my life a few times as well. <laughs> <laughs> From making me sleep outside at Goss's top camp at the age of six, sending me into a thicket with a female bushback, one of the more aggressive antelope, and her baby, to dropping in on me at Jeffrey's Bay. 
at all seriousness, these are some of my greatest moments, and I owe all of them to you. They are examples of the type of life you have lived so far, and the impact it has had. We are truly blessed to have you as a father and a grandfather. You have made all our lives fun and full of adventure, while giving us the freedom to pursue our dreams and passions. You have blessed us with wisdom and insight, moulding us throughout our lives. Through your dedication and hard work, we never went without, and lived very privileged lives. This has had a snowballing effect into our adulthood, and in turn your grandkids' lives. Excuse me. Your laugh and your smile fill my heart with joy. The time you always have for me and everyone else is very admirable. Your generosity and work ethic is incredible. You are an amazing father. Happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sorry about that. That's it's so crazy. It's all so good and positive. But it's <laughs> <laughs> to Daniela. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, somebody's else else's mistake. Sorry, Mark, I was looking for another lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being such wonderful partners for our children. And Mark, thank you for all your friendship and your bush time you spent together. To you, Braden, been love hunting with you. To you, Trent, love spending time with you. And then to these three little rug wrecks, uh, <laughs> love you, thank you for being such nice children. And then I need to say to Roger and Sandra, you're here because you're very special, you mean a lot to me and you've been good friends of ours and I thank you for your friendship. To Di, my sister, thank you Di. I'm here for you and I need to protect and look after you as my sister and being the elder brother and the loss of Mickey. To you Susan and Christopher, you have been very special friends to us and I thank you for that friendship. John and Jim, you're here because you're married into the family. <laughs> But that doesn't detract from our friendship. <laughs> I thought that was your happy. <laughs> and I thank you for that friendship. And Derek and Shirley, thank you for, for all your friendship and wonderful times you've had over the years. And Chris, thank you so much for doing the video. I'm sorry Ooh. that I voiced this upon you. <laughs> thank you so much. I enjoy it, Bob, don't okay. worry. Well, cheers, Bob. Cheers, Bob. Can I just add some grandchildren? Just the king of Dan and as well, please. No, it's okay. I know. It's Mark is the real leader. Thanks for attending, huh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I just want to say it was so wonderful to listen to those three outstanding speeches mm -hmm. and I think they summed up everything that we would feel and we would say to you and I think that uh, you know I was thinking of you the other day and the word multifaceted came to me but that's how you describe a diamond but then I thought that you are a diamond because Bob has every ability has been summed up tonight from from racing cars to beautifully turned wood to doing anything fixing anything um, reading books writing books he's an author yeah. Uh, steep the knowledge of anything you want to ask, ask Bob. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't know, you'll find out. Mm -hmm. and, and so I was thinking what he is, is a man of precision. Because mm -hmm. he's precise in every single thing he does. It's perfection, perfection. You can't fault anything that Bob does. And to have a valued friend like Bob and Merrill, and uh, we were just thinking it goes back over 40 years with mm -hmm. Catherine and Candice, with Angela, when you first we got to know each other and the friendship has grown and we value and appreciate both of you and your family and uh, well done I was going to call you children or the kids but I mean you three you spoke so adequately and so brilliantly well done, well done. Yeah, thank you thank you right
There were only seven people who fully understood the theory of relativity, and one of them was young Christian Smith. But Chris is about to tell you that he understands it. I understand it, but I don't know how the speed of light comes into it. Where does he get that? How can he? I don't know. There's no there's nothing to hang it on. You just pull it out of the air, the speed of light. Well, uh, the last bit of trivia, the smut book that I was reading said that at Cambridge they had a picture of Darwin, Milton, and Paley. I don't know who Paley is. No, it's not working. It's grabbing through your fingers, that's my favourite thing. And the kids do to me, they move my fingers. Tomorrow I'll do it. For okay. you. I, I gave it! <laughs> okay, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Both Come of on. you, big hugs. 
Thank you, Grandpa, for everything. Thank you for the Thank good Thank you for food. my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my socks. 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 Thank you for but once you go to Crystal, see that line? Yeah. Once you go to Crystal Falls and the Sphinx, you've crossed over into the forest and you've got to have a plan. Long swim, my girl. That's a long swim. Eh? No? Hey, she's beating me. She's beating me. What did you sneak up there? That's ice. So instead of buying ice cream, you've got the ice cream. That's good, Noah. That's good. That's good. No! No, you. Why? I knocked it further away from the water glass. Two up, actually. See, I just need Belinda to go now. Oh, Noah, you're still there. Is it two still? Yep, still two. Glass. Not sure. Green team's lying two up. It's brown. Hello, Noah. Or red team. No, no, I'm winning. Look. These are both my balls. These are both my balls. Those are mine. And then Lee. That's a good one. Lovely, Mila. That's a good one. Oh, Mila. Noah. Is she your partner, Noah? No, Mila's lovely too. Sue, so knock Mila's ball off.
Yeah. Okay, we just want to toast Bob. Thanks, Bob, really very much for including us in your brilliant celebration. Absolutely very, very special. Everyone, I know most of it's water because we're driving. Cheers to Bob. The red lights on, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> All done and dusted, the oh, end. Bye, yeah. bye.